All right, hello, my name is KJ and welcome back to Danganronpa! Last episode was a little bit different. I ran into a bear that wants to, to kill each other, pretty much. We are a re an average dude, you can't see him, but the one right in the middle, no, you can't see him, the one right in the middle of the screen, pretty much, the guy is um, an average Joe, as he was calling himself. The guy inter introduced, um, invited to basically the most prestigious high school in, I think, Japan? Yeah. Everyone here is ultimate. I am normal. We met a bear named Monokuma who said if we want to leave this place, which we're apparently trapped in forever, we have to kill somebody. So, back to where we were. You must kill someone if you want to leave. My mind froze and my breath caught in my throat as I thought about that. I could feel paralyzing fear slowly making its way through my body, dominating every last nerve. The air hung heavy on me, pressing down like a weight around my neck. It took everything I had just to endure that weight. I don't like you. That bear, that's Monokuma. Monokuma? Monotonous, monop... Monotonous Kuma? But for as heavy as the air felt, all it took to pierce was... Pierce yeah. was for sharp words. So, what are you gonna do now? Hey. Just stand around glaring at each other? Our pointed comment was directed at everyone in the room. It helped pull us back to reality. <laughs> Right! She's right! Listen to me! Listen to me! Sometimes, even if you're nervous or afraid, you just have to step forward! <laughs> to forget such a simple fact, I can't forgive myself. I'm so ashamed. You hear me? Please, someone hit me. I can't forgive myself. Somebody hit me. Punish me. Uh oh, Sakura? Huh? Jesus, if you have to yell about it, you have time to do something However, about it. However, perhaps. But what is the mission exactly? Stupid! Idiot! To look for a way out, duh! <sighs> I totally need to find who has ever controlled that stupid bear and beat the heck out of him. But... Before we do that, we need to take a look at the handbook. Probably the best to check out the school regulations Monokuma mentioned before doing anything else. This is else. fine. True, if we stumble around with no clue what the rules are, something like that might happen again. Hmm. Alright, so then... Fine, let's hurry up and check out the stupid rules already. Alright, I guess we're gonna look at this... Bear's book. Makoto Naigi. After turning on my ebook. E handbook. The first thing that appeared was my name. It was like that Monokuma. Just like Monokuma said, the owner's name showed up in front and center. Then, from the main menu that popped up, I selected the school regulations icon. <laughs> An itemized list appeared on screen. It was the school regulations. In other words, the rules being imposed on us all. Students may reside within the school. Leaving campus is unacceptable use of time. Night time is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m., so areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. With minimal restrictions, you are free to explore Hope Peak's, Hope's Peak Academy at your discretion. Filing against is Headmaster Monokuma is strictly prohibited, as is the destruction of surveillance cameras. Anyone who kills a fellow student and becomes blackened will graduate, unless they are discovered. Additional school regulations may be added as necessary. Feeling a slight dizziness, I raised my head, raised my face up, my face up from the screen. I looked around and saw the same stormy expression on everyone's Stop faces. Fucking around. This is bull. What what kind of rules are these? I'm not gonna let them control me. <laughs> well, why don't you wander around school without a care in the world to see what happens? Person, I would love to see what happens when someone breaks one of the rules. However. But if he got punished like what we saw before, I don't think there'd be a respawn waiting for him. Yo. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I grew up with an older brother pounding his, pounding his into my head. When a man makes a promise, he has to keep it, even if it kills him. And... So, what? What? I've made a ton of promises that I still have to keep, so that, that's so what? Jesus, shit! So I can't afford to die in here! <sighs> I'm s None of that will make much sense to me. Mondo's kind of becoming a, a better person than he seems. He's still a jerk, I'm gonna call it. Her hair looks like tires. Are you saying that you'll follow the regulations? Is That's that it? true. Well, I guess you're right. I have a question. For regulation number six, what do you think it means exactly? Blacken, meaning they can graduate or unless they're discovered. So, you're talking about the second half, right? Where it says unless they're discovered? I was wondering about that myself. <laughs> I kind of was. I was saying that if you want to graduate, you have to kill someone without anyone finding out it was you. Why do we have to do that? 
I don't see any reason to worry about it. Let's worry about following the rules they have been explained to Such us. Such ignorance. Frankly, I don't want to hear anything from someone who waits for others to decide what to do for them. <laughs> don't jab at me. Give me a break. I want like a full-on stab. Mm. Well, for now, Hina! Let's forget all that silly junk about murders or whatever. Okay. Now that we know the rules, let's all explore in school. Mm. True, we need to find out exactly where we are. Is there any way out? What about food and supplies? You understand? There are tons of questions we need to let's answer. Let's do it! Those guys are the same personality in just different bodies. All right, let's start looking around. I'll be going alone. Well, that's a pretty stupid idea, don't you think? Someone here might have already started about thinking of murdering one of us. I think we should stand around with them in our midst and just make it that much easier for them. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That would never. Don't bother saying it couldn't happen. You can't deny the possibility. That's why you all seized up with fear, and that graduation rule is made clear to you. Am I wrong? <laughs> But, but, but... Hmm. So, I'm simply acting in accordance with what I think is best for Just me. Just hold on. Hold on, like... Am I... Like, heck am I gonna let you go run off and do whatever you want? What? Out of my way, Plankton. What? What's that supposed to mean? Such ignorance. A tiny bit of Plankton drifting across the sea. Oh, please smack him, Mondo. So minuscule, so insignificant, they could possibly... Couldn't possibly have any kind of influence on the boundless ocean. You're fucking dead. I'm gonna kick your butt. Stop it! What? We shouldn't fight! What'd you say? Some kind of goody goody? Do you wanna throw down? Who do you are? Who do you all think talking to me like that? You think you're my dad? No, I wasn't. You son of a bitch. Angry. Wham! The one dude who insulted you is like, no, we're not gonna punch you, but the one who said, hey, calm down, gets punched? Gets mollywopped, gets slugged, slobber knocked. I flew back in a heap. It's like something straight out of a comic book. I didn't even see the punch coming. It was just suddenly right there in my face. One second I was standing there, the next I was soaring through the air. Now that I think about it, maybe I'd kind of forgotten the kind of people I'd been trapped in here with. My common sense had just stopped functioning. Being around all these ultimates had blown my fuses. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised it led to something as absurd as this. I just lost track of the sense of the... I just lost track of that sense of reality. That was my last thought as my consciousness started to fade. Before it finally cut out completely. When I opened my eyes again, what I saw was... Ooh, fancy. Huh? Where am I? I really like this room. I don't like the wallpaper. The color's fine, though. As if it had become another part of my daily routine, I woke up in yet another room I'd never seen before. Okay, so... Where am I now? Whew! You now have access to the handbook menu. You can use this to check a variety of information as you play. Open the handbook menu by pressing the square button. You can use this menu to check school regulations and character info. Turn points. Truth bullets? Oh. Okay. I was very involved. Oh, that's handy. It's really handy. Alrighty, I'm back. After I saved, I went and, uh, got some food. So, there's a battle score on the room. What is that? It's kind of a lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Okay. What are you? Notepad. I guess school must have given one to each of us. It's a key, it's a room key. Key to the room, my name's written on the keychain. Naegi. It's been mine. I'll hang on to it for now. It's an everyday trash can. I don't even see any trash or hidden compartments or anything. Hmm. <laughs> I'm tired. Oh, I have just a lot to look at. The security camera. Look at that. Watches me in here. The surveillance camera. I hate that, but watching me right now. We're allowed to make a mess, so I don't have to touch it. It said you can't destroy them. I could cover them. Right planted. Right. 
Right? Yeah. Oh, I thought it said the... Destruction. Yeah, okay, I could cover the camera. It's a loophole. Let's look at the bathroom. Here be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. No, it's not opening. I guess it's locked. Well, what if I have to pee? Piece of paper hanging on the wall, which says, Massive of Headmaster Monokuma. Each room lo room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Mm -hmm. We're making an individual key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. <laughs> Most bathrooms in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls! For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head will do with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves! I crumpled off the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. What's that? Oh, it's a TV. Some kind of monitor. Uh. Looks like this door leads outside, it's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Did I miss something? Oh, I have right there. <laughs> Looks like there's something in the drawer. Toolkit! It's a toolkit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory or sleep, you know, sleeping inside class will be punished accordingly. It's my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here! Door! Oh, yes! Man, why am I tired? I just woke up from... Did I wake up from a nap? No, I didn't! I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like someone out of an old TV show. Wham! Hi! What's your oh. name again? Sayaka? Sayaka! Sorry, are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. I'm a-okay. Sorry about that. I'm amazing. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built up some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good, then. Um. But are you okay? You know, from when Mondo hit you? That's true, I got knocked out right here in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right Makoto. from the beginning. Makoto? Oh, um, I'm, I'm fine. Nothing wrong That's here. That's good. That's good. I was kind of worried. Thanks. I don't like her. I don't trust this person. I don't trust this person in any way, shape, or form. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um... Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Um, listen... So if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? You see... So you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided to be more effective we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So does that mean it's all time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go that's with you. good. Good! Mm. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. I don't trust Mondo! I think that's gonna have a nameplate and door himself for the to say. I do not trust her. Celeste, I don't trust you. Owie! Owie! The best character, Sakura! You, you, you scare me. Leon! That's a hero. 
for you. Hey, Fumi. Yeah, this is, that's a cupcake! I'm in the dining hall, I had that myself. That's a cupcake, though! That's a trash can. That's a trash can, not a cupcake. I'm stupid. Bathroom, bathroom. I don't trust her. There's a lot of these characters I have no trust in. Oh, there it is. Why don't you look around? Can I look around? I want to look around! Like, what is this room? What is this room? Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. What are you? What are you? Where am I? You give no insight to what you are. Huh. I'd love to find out where the stairs lead. Let's go past the gate. What's the point of having stairs if you're just going to block them off? So yeah. Honestly, it's a really cool looking place. Bath! Why is it... Keep out. Why is the bath okay? Keep out. Why? Looks like I can't get in there. What if I got a shower? First I can't pee, now I can't shower? Game, what are you doing to me? Ugh. I don't trust her. This must be the first dormitory dining hall. It's, um, what's her name? Um, from, uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. Um. Monica. I didn't trust Monica from the start. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Um, I guess it's not really important right now with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> hmm, okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. You said you were kidding. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? Kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. For now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Say Sayaka, right? Or are you talking to her? Some purple words going to appear. Here's how they work. When purple words show up, you press the triangle button and go into reaction mode. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? No, I'm not. Oh, this is insane. This is what you use directional buttons to make a selection and X to confirm it. When it comes to the dialogue, you can view whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school life. Have you gone ahead and used already? Well, that's just wonderful. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps moving forward. Ah, look at her, she's flat. Camera, TV, what is that, a little door? I'm not going wandering around, just gonna wait here patiently. Oh, look, a clock. What time is it? Uh, what time is it right now? Seven o'clock at night? Um. You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If you stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. I guess you're all that's left, Sayaka. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um. Well, it's just. I know this is kind of continuing your self but I wanted to ask you something. Continuing our self introductions? Um, kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. So I kind of want to ask me something? I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Hey, um. By the way, what is um, it? It's just. I know it's a kind of. What do you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class too? Oh, okay, so they did kind of know. I, I, I thought they knew each other. Lisa gave off a vibe that they at least had, he had at least known of her. Uh, yeah, actually I was. <sighs> I knew it! I went there too, I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as the question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she just still knew who I was. Hey, um... Okay, maybe I shouldn't be as worried about you. 
It's gonna be my friend. Can I romance in this game? Is there romance options? Can I fall in love with you? Are you gonna fall in love with me? I hope that's not the case. I gotta fall in love with Aoi. Or Chihiro. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> Probably Aoi. I'd, want, I'd rather fall in love with Aoi. I'd die for Chihiro. I'd fall in love with Aoi. We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. That's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and... And all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me normal. Uh -huh. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> You just hear that echo, the laugh echoing through the entire school. <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow a mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Not mine. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you, all you ultimates. <laughs> But you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. Okay. And thank you for helping me out. I'm gonna be and a thank you for helping me out. I'm gonna become your ultimate assistant. My assistant. <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm gonna help you out as much as I can. So let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it gets me pumped up. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like you timed it. Talk it through, open the dining hall door right as Sayaka said that. Hey! Hey, Makoto, Sayaka! You got the... You, so you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I'm sure I beat everyone here. <laughs> I guess that means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! Well, I won't give up. Next time I swear I'll win, no matter what it takes, justice shall always prevail! Where was the un Where's the injustice? <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, hey, everybody. It looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Apparently, I was corrected on one of the names. I called her Junko. His name is Junko. It has nothing to do with anything, but I call him Junko. Hold on a sec. Hey, Junko! Junko! Wait, hold on a what sec. What are you talking about? What's wrong? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. <gasps> Look, yeah, Kyoko! Hmm. What about her? Aww. She's not here. <gasps> what? My eyes, the, the, doth they deceive me? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Um... Owie! I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed! I hate this bear. I hate you, Monokuma. Best friend loves Monokuma, and I don't understand why. She... She said she likes psychopaths. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No, no, I'm just overthinking. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko. You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Is this a school? I mean, I know this is a school, but am I actually going to learn anything, or is it just survival of the fittest? Not only is she late, she didn't... Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone. She would be late! A most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jerk right now, you know that? What do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meeting has begun! Um... Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. Hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you know. Huh, what's up? I feel like I've really become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? 
Okay, I, I, tr I don't trust her anymore. I don't trust her anymore. Why in a situation like this, I'm gonna take these out so I can speak. Why in a situation like this, where it's pretty much everyone has to survive, or you have to kill to do it, would she be all friendly? She's trying to kill me. She wants me dead. I'm not, she wants me dead. She's gonna try and kill me herself with one of her little sewing kit needles, stab them through my eyeballs, sew my eyeballs together, and then, I don't know, murder me with A shoe! Yeah, a shoe! I don't trust her. I do not trust her. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Oh, you've done nothing! You've stood still for the last 15 minutes! How oh, can I not talk to people? I'm not. I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Chihiro! Owie! Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone's split up to investigate different parts of the building. You but, Byakuya and Taka went off on their own, so did Kyoka. Byakuya. I want to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really? That's it? Hmm. If I'd uncovered anything naturally, I would have had more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right, I understood. I understand. I understood. Um... I'm stupid. Okay, got Taka. Taka's the other one. Which one's Taka? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, oh, oh, Kyo Taka. Ishimaru. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... Listen to me! There, I made it the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Uh. Wow. Amazing sleuth work. Just amazing. The, uh, the nameplates didn't give it away at all. Good job, Ishimaru. Well, yeah, I figured that before any figured that out before anything yeah. else. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. <laughs> Hi, Sakura. And each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name pre precision etched into it. I don't like her. She scares me. She scares me, but I don't think she's a bad ca <coughs> character. She just scares me. It's confirmed that the room I was in earlier was attacked by my room. And Jihiro and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um. Okay. You could s your next door neighbor could scream their lungs at and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it looked like there were only locks in the girls' bathroom. Bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But what about when I checked my bathroom before? It definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check hey, that later. Come on. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better have better to have that. Better to have than have not. Man, it's hard. Words or English words are hard sometimes. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. I can't be all you have to report, Mister. Can't, oh, that can be all you have to report. Can of Mr. Honor Students? Got it! That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. I guess I gotta talk to her still. Sayaka! Maizono! Already did it. Okay, so we got another reaction. We all went up. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. What happened was... Hmm. Nothing. Not a darn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge even a little what bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. No, Chihiro, don't cry! School has totally been cut off. This is bad. This sucks. Bad, 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 bad! It really sucks! It sucks, 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 sucks! What are we gonna do? Hey, come on. Calm down, you're starting to make me nervous. I don't like you. You remind me of a Pokemon trainer. Um, yes, yes, see. yes. Looks like Leon, Hiro, and Junko, and Chihiro grouped up. Oh, good. Wow! The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mondo. <laughs> Owie! Maybe we thought, we thought maybe we could find some, some way to communicate with the outside, so we weren't looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find a thing, sorry. No. Oh, back to the main hall. Thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? 
but he was suckering me both. It wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and Dude, nothing. Shit. It was hard as like metal. Yes. No, indeed. I thought it was wood. Well, yes, it is metal. Oh, mm. This sucks. Apparently, his head looks like a cornucopia, not corn. I think it looks like corn. If you look at it right there, the way it's like uh, designed, it has like the uh, corn. I guess. If we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I could just cry, but no, I have to hold on, head it in, I have to manage my hydration. I shall tell you what happened next. Hi, Sakura. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another Hi. floor. There were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it. <laughs> in other words, at this point, we're only able to search the first However. floor. However, we can further assume that there's potentially something above the second floor as well. If that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead a way out. Um, These are very astute high school students. You see. No. Hifumi. Let's see. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the Most gym. Most unfortunate. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell's wrong with you? What the heck were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> but it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. It's your fault. Toko, shut up. What the? If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget it. I'm not gonna want to go anywhere with a. Mm. <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. Are you for real? I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful about someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, guys. Everyone, just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close that you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. Hey, um... So that's what they have to say, huh? I guess I'm the only one left. He never said anything. He never said a word. Hifumi never said a word. Has everybody said something except for Hifumi? What? What are they looking at? I don't know. A lick? I went in looking around the dining hall, found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. Good. I guess they don't have to worry about food, at least. What? Sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you could just eat sesame seeds or something. <gasps> what am I, a parakeet? <laughs> His eyeballs were just... Hifumi, your animation. You're hilarious. I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least that's what Monokuma said. Hmm? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge and told me that, and then disappeared again. I mean, it was so fast, I can't believe someone would have been moving him around with remote control. That's... A weaponized toy that can appear from just no from from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. Uh... What, was everything okay? He didn't like try to eat you or anything. <gasps> eat her? What do you mean by that? Hifumi, you've been there for like a day! Calm down, dude! What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking oh. about? Come on, man! You bastard! Uh, oh. What the heck, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk Actually. dude. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Stop screwing around, all of you! Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here! We could all die any second! Shit. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or. Voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. Monokuma? <gasps> no! What's her name? What's her name? What's white haired person? White haired, I think? You're, so, oh, you're all spending an awful lot of time yelling mm -hmm. and carrying on. Kyoko! That's your name. Hi, Kyoko. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? Yo! Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. 
She didn't say a word, so she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? What? What the? Where did you find this? Wow. It doesn't matter where I found it. What the heck? It does matter. You're really freaking this out right oh, now. More important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem. Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. What you're saying is, this is Hope's Peak Academy? It's true. Well, in terms of the construction, yes. But it looks like it had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However. I don't know all the details yet. All I found was details about the first floor. Um... But then, this is really Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. <laughs> So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future leader is supposed to come and learn? What? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are the other students? <sighs> Oop. Come on, guys, let's stop talking about all this stuff. You know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Yo! Worried? What's that to be worried about? I mean, this is all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I'd have to uh, have ectoplasm shooting out of nope. my mouth. Good thing comes to those who wait, right? Plus, it, so we just gotta chill and everything will work out for itself. <laughs> what's your problem? What? Why are you? Why? What's your problem, Toko? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so happy. That is all. It seems to be splitting up. It seems splitting up. Uh, investigate. What's a good idea after all? <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a t total waste of time. We di didn't find a way out. Didn't f find who's behind this. Still have no idea what's going on. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to for you what's going on? Are you okay with this? I kind of like her voice actor. It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. And there's the music. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. <laughs> you didn't have to go and say that. I, I was trying not to think about it. No way, we're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> Very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it! Don't even joke about that! <clears throat> Everyone, just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. Seems like... There's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to our living. Our lives here from now on. That... Live here? Are you just saying we should accept it? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually. As someone who can come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? Huh, what do you mean? Mm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we'll be spending the night. However, you all remember the one rule regarding nighttime, right? 10 to 7. Night time is 10 to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping. Oh, and pun sleeping in class and punished accordingly. Let's see. So, regarding this night time, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> Going out at night time should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations don't actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Uh -huh. But why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. Mm -hmm. We will all be afraid someone might actually try and come and kill us. Wh what? <laughs> we have to worry about that night after night for who knows how long, it'll wear us down in no I time. See. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as our kind of preventive measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow What us. can we do? What do you mean? But I think I can agree. To, I see what you mean. But I think we can agree to that. It's like what the Goth of the Lolly just said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply! You can't just decide to speak for us. This is fine. So everyone is agree in agreement? Good! <laughs> None of you will excuse me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I wanna take a shower before it I arrives. Hope you are well. So goodbye! Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone tr even trying to stop her. Um. So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. Huh. Adaptability. Hmm. So, Mr. Chairman, what next? Only one person left. One person left already. Um, well then, 
what say we call an end to the day? You understand? Like she said, it's almost night time anyway. We can re reconvene first thing in tomorrow huh? morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go over long without getting some sleep. Oh, this sucks. So we just have to give up. <sighs> All fine and good for today, but what do we do tomorrow? So in the end. Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Mm. And we're done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off into the private mm. rooms. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. I don't trust her. Is this where we staying for the foreseeable future? That's right, I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only girls' bathrooms should have locks on them, right? Alright, let's open it up. Rattle, rattle. It's like you, so really is locked. <laughs> Hi, Monokuma! <laughs> Wrong! Not locked! Holy crap! <laughs> Gee, he's talking about an overreaction. It's like you saw a ghost or something. Oh, what? What? Ah! It's like some kind of robot bear ghost! What are you doing here? Oh, what are you doing here? Makoto Naegi! This is a uh, super duper majority bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical awful awful attack! Uh -huh. And point in fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame! Wait, so the reason it won't open is so the reason it won't open is because it's locked? Is it locked? The door just doesn't fit? Hey, um... Didn't you see the notice? Wait, what, can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks. Yeah. I mean, a lock in a boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well... You stupid freaking bear. It's not that it's pointless, I guess, but I'm no expert on the birds, but I'm no expert on the birds and bees and all that. Anyway, there's a little trick to opening this door, a particularly ill-fitting door. That's what I'm here to teach you! Okay, ready? So you gotta turn the doorknob and lift while you pull. Yes, indeed! Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door while I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See, it opened right up. Isn't it crazy though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. <laughs> you're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But it looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye. Anyway, I still don't feel like don't don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey wait! Darn it! Dong bing bong! Bing, bong, dong, ding. <clears throat> High school. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such, it is officially nighttime. Okay. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. Still mumbling myself, I collapse in, some, collapse in a bed. My eyes almost closed immediately. And it's not that I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent an entire day staring at a TV watching movies. Or some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed to a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is the curtain call. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope Speak Academy. Soon enough I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but... I'd be fine with that, actually. To be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Wincom would be a kind teacher, but when I think about what's going on, I'm just so full of pride and joy. I said one earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students of Hope Speak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new Bong B. 
Bing dong ding. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Uh, Get ready to greet another beautiful day. I have only distrust. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe we should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. I don't trust her! Okay, it's decided. I'm going to head to her room. The newfound determination I left my room. Mondo. Hi, uh, Kiyotaka. Ishimaru. Hey. Good morning, Wakoto! Good morning. <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite delightful. Such an energizing way to you start understand? the day. Now, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Is this her room? Kyoko? No, that's not who I'm after. Sayaka. Mondo. Sayaka! Let me in! There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Ding dong! Hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. listen, I have a favor to ask. A favor? Um, I was getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure, where are you headed? Um, oh, um, um. I'm thinking about that. There might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense or murder? Um, she's gonna kill first. She's gonna try to kill me, but she's gonna kill someone first. I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with the rules for murdering each other. Whoever puts up, puts us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. Oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. You don't have to say that. I'm, am I really so easy to predict? Anyway, we should head to the gym. For anyone who just hates walking around school, we've got some good news. You can teleport using the map section of the handbook menu. It's simple as opening the map menu and choosing where you want to go. However, you can only teleport to hallways and marked waypoints. Plus, you can't teleport to places you haven't been or places that are blocked off. And depending on story moments, there will be times when you won't be able to teleport at all. Finally, not to try not to teleport inside any walls. There's a chance you can get lost. Forever! Well then, good luck and have fun! Okay, so how... That's right, okay, let's get moving. Okay, bye! Dining hall. Bathroom still unaccessible. Hello, Celeste. Why are you so I'm tall? You well. Hello, I hope you two are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Celeste! <laughs> Exchanges of common greeting is somehow strange. Okay? Given the circumstances and everything. You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> well, I'm off. Should we get going? Yeah. Hey, Fumi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Most suspicious. Mr. Naeji and Miss Naizono. Where are the two of you off to? I don't like you. Man and a woman growing closer. Hey, what are you trying to say? Mm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation and over the course of the story they fall in love. That's right, you're a fan fiction writer. There's no really other way to express it but to say, I feel as if. How very poetic! Is that a JoJo reference? Hey, um. Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, don't have a clue. I'm gonna get away from you. Owie!
Not this way. Where do I go? Oh no, I'm lost. I refuse to use a teleport. Laundry! Hey, um... We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's get moving. Do you think you want to go to the gym? Oh, what are you? Yeah, Makoto, if you're looking to do your gym, this is it. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Sorry about that. I want to explore, Sayaka. The gym's over there. Ladies. Don't go together with those other two. Quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. I don't know, I was just thinking, you three make a pretty unique team. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with those two people who have muscles where their brain should be is not by just choice. A wow, that was super mean. I know, Owie. <laughs> Yesterday you were just so pure and perfect. Yesterday you were complaining about how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I invited you to come with us. I never asked you to do that. Stop trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go Wait. after her? We shouldn't pressure her any further. No. Oh yeah, good point. Like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Owie. Owie, you're so tall. Am I just short? Hmm. You have to find some way out of here no matter what. That's why I went with Hina and Toko. However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Ah, oh, understandable. Owie! Hey, Makoto. Hey, Makoto. Look who it is. Sup, guys? What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we find something today. But if we do, I'll be sure to let everyone know ASAP. Is this the gym? No, this isn't the gym. Hey, fellas. Mondo, what are you doing? What? I'm trying to find a way out. I figured I'd give it another shot. This Gotta be a way to bust this thing Hell open. Oh yeah. But I suck at thinking stuff up, so I guess I'll let you guys figure hey, it out. Damn it. Once it's time to act, though, you let me know. I'll show you what a real man can do. Wow, sounds like we really can count on you. And there's you. I don't trust you. I mean, seriously? What the heck is this middle hatch thing? It's really on there, that's for sure. Anyway, there's nothing to do around here. Gonna go huh. uh, freaking die of boredom. I mean, stuck in here is keeping me from racing toward my dream, too. Hey, um... Your dream? Yeah! Yeah! To become a musician! You can sense my aura, right? The strongest vocals of the century right How here. How cool is that? God, it feels so cool getting to say that in front of a national celebrity. I'm with you, Sayaka. Dreams. Did you say something? <laughs> Sorry, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. Hmm. The gym is over. There you are, the gymnasium. We're gonna get that sword! Yes. We're gonna look at the sword. Sword! Is this a sword? Oh, I think it's just a replica. So pretty impressive. Completely covered in gold coating. But, jeez, I barely touched it and the gold stuff got all over my hands. Uh, um. Oh, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little gauche. Well, I think it's better than nothing, hey, I guess. Um. You should take it with you. It might help liven your room up a little. You think so? <laughs> well, I guess you better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it up a newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. Mm. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't you worry about it. It's not like you need it right away. Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. <gasps> You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Sayaka, g Sayaka giggled as she said that. A mysterious smile creeps me out. I can tell it comes from her heart, and it makes me feel at ease, even though I'm completely creeped out. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can start looking for a weapon then, but as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Um... 
Um, I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I really don't know what Sorry. to talk about. I was the one invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, huh? right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored. Oh, you're probably super bored just standing around doing nothing. Um, no, it's not that it's boring. It's I... just... I've never done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. If you're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. Hey, um, kind of out of nowhere, but... Ricardo, do you have a dream? Uh, well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. I... My dream is... I thought you were going to say, like, I want to open a bakery. I've always wanted to be a star as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know. My dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. Just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But all that changed when I saw a, t a pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. But more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. Evil! 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 Murder! Murder! I called murder! Um, dead body reported! I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. This is Among Us, the anime, pretty much. Actually, this came out before Among Us. Huh? You see. I think it did, anyway. When did Among Us come out? Apparently, this came out in, like, 2012, so I don't know when Among Us... Was it 12? 14? I don't know. The anime came out in 2014, so we'll say 2013. I honestly believe as long as you keep chasing your dreams, sometimes like they had to come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream, not even for a second. But even if it's sometimes it's a bad dream, whether you're awake or asleep... To make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current without even taking time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no! No, 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 don't get the wrong idea, it's super what? fun! That's... but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing, we're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been reforming together since we were so young. They're all like a family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. Why are the words yellow? To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most. The world gets tired of us. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then the dreams die. Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone goes their separate ways. Sayaka. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must you be terrified see. of losing it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Um, well, I say if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but... Now we're trapped in here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Uh, uh, While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still, Sayaka, what? I can't what? afford to be stuck in here! She's gonna commit the first murder. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she'd feel that way. Trapped here this way, she the dream she put so much effort into on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight of what she's carrying, I can't even imagine. Sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um... I kind of killed the mood, huh? Made me think you're going to be the first murderer. No, not sorry. at all. I'm really sorry. Um, Sayaka? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, let's go to the dining hall and get some food. So... Okay! You want me, you want me to make us something to eat? I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook! No. Poison. No. I'll cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil! You mean the condiments? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. She burst out laughing. <laughs> Her mood. Only mood is here. Replaced by the price final I grew cooking on YouTube. How did it happen so fast? 
It's almost like a mask, some kind of neutral expression. Anyways, we head to the dining hall to get something to eat before we're returning to our rooms. The only thing in my room is a fake sword covered in gold. I love swords. Oh, it doesn't make me feel that much more uncomfortable. Anyway, right, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Absolutely! To live your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which can potentially give them even better impressions of you. You can get these presents from the Mono Mono machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also pop, open up new skills, which can pre prove useful as everything plays out. We strongly encourage you to develop and deepen your many friendships as you can. And keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you'll automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can ultimately choose to go to sleep and skip it. We, would rec we wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you must press forward with the story, then... Anyway, why don't you try spending more time with Miss Sayaka Maizono? She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? As is, but I'm going to actually end here, so... Thank you all for watching. I've been K.H. Childs. This has been Danganronpa, in which I'm about to go with what I'm assuming is my first killer. The first killer. I'm gonna highly assume first killer. I'll be kind of upset if not first killer. So, yeah! I don't trust her. Stay tuned for the next. Stay